Hey everybody, come on in. I know you've been waiting. Yes, this is about the last of the turkey. So I'm making some turkey noodle soup. I've chopped up uh, probably about four cups of turkey meat. I'm getting ready to make some tur good old turkey noodle soup. So got my water boiling in here. In with the turkey. Yeah, I know y'all been wondering. When is the soup coming? You know, you make turkey noodle soup. You make uh, turkey salad. I didn't do any salad this time, but I got enough to make. I thought I think soup will serve us better. So that's about four cups of uh, chopped up turkey. Got so far, I got uh, six cups of water in there. I'm going to be putting in some uh, a cup of brown. Um, Remember, I had some leftover um, green peppers and onions that I ground up for my... See how wonderful stuff freezes? We'll count that as a leftover. So that is some bell pepper and onion and celery. So drop that right on in. That's about a three-fourths of a cup. Let's make that a full cup. So that'll be our veggies in there. I started to make some turkey... Uh, vegetable soup with the tomato base that I decided nah I think I'm just gonna make a uh, creamy kind of a creamy one this time so we're gonna go in with some uh, chicken bouillon pack a couple packs of that to help flavor it and that'll be the salt for it won't have to put in the extra salt I don't think so what did you do with your leftover turkey? Give me some feedback. When I get this posted, tell me what you did with your leftover turkey if you had some leftover turkey. That was one of the things, honey. We used to have turkey hash, salad, soup, uh, turkey gravy to go, <coughs> excuse me, to go with biscuits. Because mama would cook, would cook a turkey almost as big as us. And we'd have all kind of leftover turkey, honey. We'd hash it. We'd hash it. Uh, Puree it, catch it, tore it, and every other kind of thing. And I haven't done this in a long, long time. I've also got some, um, I'm going to be using, I've got some chicken broth here that I'm going to use. This is a 32 ounce container of chicken broth. Just going to pull that right on in there. We want it nice and flavorful. And hopefully, as it cooks, um, I don't know if I'm going to have to thicken it or not, but, and I don't really want it all that thick. Mmm, it's smelling good already, because you know those bell pepper, celery, and onions, they're paying off, they're doing their job. So we're going to bring that to a good rolling boil, and when it boils up real good, we're going to um, just boil it up for about 10-15 minutes, and then when it gets done boiling, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the noodles in there. You know, it only takes noodles or about... 20 minutes in this soup to, to uh, cook. So we're going to get this going really good. And we're going to have us some soup here shortly, y'all. Some good old turkey noodle soup. Oh, I know what I'm going to thicken it with. I've got some cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to put a, a cup of can, or at least one can. Either cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup. Either one that you got. I got uh, cream of mushroom soup that I'm going to throw in mine for the thickness. And I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of good old black pepper. You know we got to have a black pepper going there. So half a teaspoon of black pepper. Alrighty, I'm not gonna add any salt to this at this point because I don't think I'm gonna really need to because I'm using those that chicken bouillon seasoning and um the uh, chicken broth. Okay. So we're just going to let that cook and get to a rolling boil in about 10, 12 minutes and we'll be right back and go ahead and put the noodles in and we'll be able to uh, help us up a good old bowl of this chicken noodle soup. Okay, now we're back. It's time now to drop in the noodles. And while I was gone or while you were gone, I dropped in some ground. I dropped in about three-fourths of a pound of ground turkey meat just to... to uh, Give it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more bite to it. I know Kareem loves meat. So, we're going to have turkey, chopped turkey, and ground turkey in it. So, this 
be nice and meaty, y'all. Nice and meaty. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put in about, um, let's start with a cup and a half of those noodles. I don't know if I'm going to need two cups of noodles. I don't want them to be too thick with noodles. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Maybe about a cup and a half of noodles. Cook them and see what happens. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. I got a little bit of beef broth. It's not gonna hurt a thing, y'all. Not a thing. And if I need more noodles, I can always cook them separately and drop them right in there. But I think, I really, really believe. Mmm, it's got something in my eye all of a sudden. But I, yeah, I went ahead and dropped in uh, three fourths of a pound of uh, ground turkey, just like I said, just to give it a little bit more depth. And once we get this all cooked up, these noodles cooked through here, and we're going to see how thick it looks. And then we'll go ahead and um, put that uh, cream of mushroom soup in, and that's going to make it creamier. A little bit creamy. Of course, I'm going to put some butter in it on the end. Oh, and I added a little bit of uh, sage, a little bit of portrait seasoning. I did the black pepper before I left, though. But the sage and portrait seasoning, about an uh, eighth of a teaspoon of each one of those, just to give it that extra flavor. And like I said, we want it to be nice and creamy, but not too thick. So, we're going to let that cook for about 10 minutes and see how much of the broth these noodles are going to take up. So I, don't, like I, said, I don't want it too, too thick with noodles, but I want enough in there. Okay. I want to pour that whole thing in there so bad, so a cup and a little over a cup and a half, I think it'll be enough. Feel those noodles boil up, honey. They, they, they multiply on you. So I'm going to just leave it uncovered and let it cook. So about 10 minutes from now, we'll know if we need more noodles or not. So y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. Let's just look over in that pot. See there? They're boiling. Got to get them to a good rolling boil. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, the phone just rang, but I had to answer it. So here I go. I am putting in the um, cream of mushroom soup. That should be the last ingredient. I'm going to let that cook in to my soup really, really good. And I think it's going to be just nice and creamy like I want it. I think the noodles are pretty much as done as they need to be. I don't want to get them too mushy. But look at that. Nice and thick. Some healthy, hearty turkey noodle soup. Creamy turkey noodle soup, y'all. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. I think that's about as thick as I want that broth. Just about like that. I don't want too much thicker than that. Then it will become um, like a, a stew. And I don't want it to be a stew. I want it to be a nice, thick, brothy soup. So we're going to let that cream of mushroom soup cook in there. Or if you got cream of chicken, either one will do. So we'll put that flavor in, and it'll th that'll be your thickener. You won't need to worry about it being too watery. So there we go, y'all. That's how you make good old creamy turkey noodle soup out of your leftover turkey. So now y'all know what happened to the rest of the turkey. So we're going to let this cook about another 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll take it off the stove and serve up a bowl. So hold on. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, it's soup. It's ready. Nice, thick, and creamy, and tasty. Look at that. Mmm, yum, 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 yummy. Okay, so we get ready to dip up a bowl full and sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I also decided I wanted some uh, nice hot cornbread to go along with that. So I made just a little old pan of cornbread to go along with that, uh, creamy uh turkey noodle soup y'all so we're having cornbread and creamy turkey noodle soup for dinner at the house house tonight so let me just go ahead and get me a little bowl started here 
Mm. Whew, it's piping hot. Mm. A little bit broth. I like I like some broth in mine. Okay. I tell you what I'm gonna do. This bread is piping hot. I just took it out of the oven. Just turned off the uh, cornbread out of the oven. Just turned the pan off, the soup pot off. And I'm just getting ready to get me a slice of this cornbread to go right on top of my. Uh, I'm gonna put it right in my soup. That's the way I like. It. Uh huh. Yes, 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 yes. I have not had a creamy soup in a long time because normally when I make soup, I always make a tomato, a tomato based soup. So we're having a nice creamy one tonight, y'all. So we're just going to take us a slice of that cornbread. And this is the way I like to eat my soup, just like that. Lay that cornbread right in there. And it's eating time, y'all. So listen, guys. If you want something to do with your leftover turkey, if you got enough, I don't know how much you need to make, but however amount you got to um, add to it, just drop you some good old ground turkey in there. That's only going to enhance the flavor. We're ready to eat this bowl of soup. So listen, guys, until I decide to cook again, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing, y'all. Do something kind for someone. And most of all, trust in the Lord in all things and give thanks, especially during this season. Get into the season. Start decorating, doing whatever you're going to do for the holidays, shopping, sending out cards. Ooh, that reminds me. I got to get my cards going. So, anywho, y'all, it's kind of late in the evening. So, what I'm going to do is get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy my good old bowl of creamy turkey noodle soup and a nice slice of that cornbread so thank y'all for tuning in love you guys and remember tune in to kareem howell's channel tanya howell abide in the vine the flavor train all about the banks miss c's kitchen prissy p and be love check my people out y'all support those channels so until i decide to cook again love you guys to lou